I'm still confused about why he would do anything to put us in this position other than greed or if there was somebody that he was taking direction from besides me. I wish I had been more of a financial expert and gotten more involved in that area of the company, but honestly, that wasn't my thing. You know, I'm a, I'm a commercial guy, I'm a sales guy, I'm a marketing guy, I'm a recruiting guy, I'm a training guy. Every Friday, I got a bank balance report from my CFO. Every month, I got financial statements on all the stores from my CFO. Every three months, we had quarterly audits from Ford Motor Credit Company. So on July 10th, 16 days before they came in here and destroyed my company, they were telling me, thank you. They were telling me, thank you, Bart. You're a great dealer. You're one of the best dealers we have. Let's celebrate your success. I think they were involved in the fraud that caused the demolition of my company because there's no way they could be doing quarterly audits and come back three weeks later after they do a quarterly audit that they told me was great and all of a sudden I'm on vacation halfway across the world and tell me I'm, I owe them 40 million dollars. Those first couple of weeks I lost 21 pounds in like 10 days. Massive disaster. I mean it's been a, I mean since July, since July 26th 2018, my life's never been the same. You showed me around of what is, is a virtually empty office building, yeah. right? Um, when it kind of makes me sick. Yeah, I bet. yeah we, uh, now you're going to make me get teared up. I've never tried to do anything but good for Lubbock, West Texas, the car business, Ford Motor Company. For us to be in the situation where we are now, I don't, I don't know who owns these cars out here. I know I don't own them. I don't know who owns these buildings here right now. I don't own them anymore, you know, and uh, all the people that used to work here don't work here anymore. And yeah, it's been hard. It's been hard. It's been hard for me because of my family. You know, it's been really hard on my wife. My wife doesn't even want to go to the grocery store. You know, I mean, uh, it's been hard on my kids, but my kids have been outstanding. My wife's been outstanding. It was hard to take, man. I mean, I've had to, I've had to pray a lot and I've had to uh, call on the Lord a lot, call on my friends a lot, my family. Yeah, it was hard. It was the hardest thing I've ever been through in my life. You know, and you really find out who your friends are when something like this happens. When you see what was being built here and you see what happened, what you thinking? It makes me really angry. Now that I've had almost 11 months to figure out what went wrong, what went wrong was there was a a lot of things going on in the financial area of our business that were corrupt. They haven't heard the last of you. I'm not done by a long shot. You don't think this was one or two people. You think a bunch of people played this game. A lot of people made a lot of money on this game, you know, at my expense, you know, and not just at my expense, but at the, at the end of the company's expense.